Hi, Else here, and in this video we'll be analyzing business transactions and applying our knowledge of account names to the analysis. If you have not as yet memorized the definition of the financial reporting elements or you don't know how to analyze business transactions using the critical and enhancing questions, you'll be totally lost in this video. I highly recommend you go back to my previous videos to get a handle on those things before continuing. Let's have a quick review of what has already been demonstrated. Remember that any accounting system should provide information that is ready for use by decision makers. Stakeholders use accounting information to make resource allocation decisions. Basically, what are they going to do with their money? One of the things we did in the previous video is we used the basic accounting equation to record business activities. We discovered that although it provided information about the financial position of the company, for instance, assets are equal to $1,975 and they equal the liabilities of $250 and equity of $1,725. It was not able to tell us much more than that. For instance, if we wanted to know how much profit the business made, the basic accounting equation wasn't able to tell us that. We then used the expanded accounting equation to gain additional information. For instance, by using the expanded accounting equation, we know that profit was $1,375, which is made up of revenues of $1,450 less the expenses of $75. However, we still don't have details. For instance, the composition of our assets or what type of expenses we have is unknown. This is important information for decision making by all stakeholders involved in the business. Even though the expanded accounting equation gives us more information than the basic accounting equation, it's still not enough information for decision making. In the last two videos you were introduced to accounts, common subgroups of financial reporting elements that are used to accumulate or gather together business activities and make them more meaningful. With the addition of accounts, the accounting system can be used to produce financial statements that stakeholders need in order to better understand the business. Remember that the financial statements tell the story of the business, its financial position and profitability. Statements are used by external stakeholders to make decisions about their interaction with the business. As in all our past videos, we have a set way to analyze the transactions using the critical and enhancing questions. You should be using these every single time you read and analyze a business activity. In this video, I'm going to start focusing on using only the critical questions. What did the business get? What did the business give away? But remember, you can use the enhancing questions if you find that you're struggling to understand the impact of any business activity. Let's take a look at the list of business activities that we'll be analyzing in this video. There are 10 and we're going to use them in order to become familiar with the most common account names that are used. Remember that this question is available to download immediately below the video in the description. I have loaded it into my Dropbox and you can copy and paste the URL into your browser to download the question before continuing. As in all my past videos, I really recommend that you download the question analyze the business transactions and record them in the basic accounting equation using account names before you watch me do it. This is the only way you can test your understanding of the concepts and correct your misconceptions. Here again are all the transactions we'll be analyzing and recording using the basic accounting equation and account names. Let's get started. 1. The owner contributes $2,500 cash to start the business. What did the business get? cash of $2,500, which is an asset because it's owned, has future benefit for the business because it can be used to help generate revenue, and it is due to a past transaction. The cash account increases by $2,500. What did the business give away? They gave away part of the business, ownership in the business. That's equity, which is now owed to the owners. The account we use to represent ownership in the business is owner's capital, which is increasing because the business owes more to the owner than it did before this transaction. Owner's capital increases by $2,500. Note that the equal sign is then an excellent check of your logic. If the mathematical equation is correct, then your entry balances and it is also correct. Moving on. 2. Received a $2,500 interest-free loan from the owner's parents. What did the business get? Cash of $2,500, which we know is an asset, so we won't go over that again. 
the account cash increases by $2,500. What did the business give away? The business gave away an IOU, a promise to pay $2,500 in the future, so liabilities increase by $2,500. The account name to use to represent this? Loans Payable. Loan Payable increases by $2,500. Again, the equal sign tells us that we have recorded the entry correctly. Next, number three, opened a business bank account and received a no-fee business credit card. The bank will charge you $15 at the end of the month for the bank account. What did the business get? Well, on the day that the business opened the bank account, they got nothing but the future right to use a bank account and the future right to use a credit card. What did the business give away? The business gave away a promise to pay $15 at some point in the future, after they have had the use of the bank account and credit card. So today they have given away nothing and they have received nothing because they have not used anything yet. This is an event and is not recorded into the business's financial accounting system. What is an event compared to a transaction? A transaction is a business activity which is measurable and realized. Measurable means that there is a known value that can be determined. The bank account will cost $15 per month, so it is measurable. Realized means that there has already been an exchange, a transaction between two parties in the past. In this case, the business has not used the bank account or the credit card, so there is no realization. This means that this business activity is an event. An event is a business activity which is either measurable or realized, but never both. Transactions are recorded in the business's financial information system, but events are never recorded. Events have to be denoted as no entry so that the marker knows you considered the business activity and came to a decision about the fact that it should not be recorded. Let's take a short break and we'll continue the remaining transactions in the next video.